Today, I'm gonna to show you the best desk setup to reduce eye strain. So whether you are setting up your desk to do home office work, school work, or for gaming, these tips should help you keep better focus, stay comfortable, and perform better. This video is gonna have two sections. First is showing the ideal ergonomics of the desk setup, and then I'll share some tips about the screen settings as well as office hacks to reduce eye strain that most people just don't know about. Now, first thing you wanna do is set up your laptop or computer screen to the proper distance, height, and tilt for your eyes. Now, for this desk setup, I am using the Asus VivoBook Pro 16X with the AMD Ryzen 9 6900 HX processor, which was sent out to me by Asus, but rest be assured, all of these tips should work great with any screen, whether a laptop or desktop. But huge thanks to Asus and AMD for sponsoring this video. Now the ideal distance to set up your computer screen should be about an arm's length away so that you don't have to reach forward to hit any buttons or shut it off. I like to say that you should be able to give a high five to your computer screen or at least touch it with your fingertips. For the height of your computer screen, you're gonna wanna adjust the laptop or desktop screen so the top is just about eye level or slightly below that by about 10 degrees. This is gonna be the ideal position for your eyes because when you're looking at a near computer screen, you actually cross your eyes a little bit and that's gonna be more comfortable in a slightly downward position. If you are using a desktop monitor and it doesn't adjust for height, then you can simply try putting some textbooks underneath it to try and give it a little bit of extra height. If you are using a laptop as your main computer, I do think it's best to get a laptop stand as well as a dedicated external mouse and keyboard just so that you can keep better posture with your arms and hands. Otherwise reaching forward like this and typing is gonna hurt your neck and shoulder muscles and yeah, it's not comfortable. In addition to all this, you wanna tilt the screen a little bit, right? Nobody reads a newspaper holding it straight up and down like this. No, you have it tilted just a little bit so that the text is facing up toward you. But it is also important to try to avoid any glare from light sources that could be from behind you because that can otherwise be distracting and make it harder to see the screen clearly. Now just doing this, having a proper setup should help a lot of people with both their posture and their eye strain. But now to help further reduce eye strain and fatigue, here's a few tips to help. Number one is to adjust the brightness and contrast settings. A recent study did show that people experience less eye strain when using a digital device with a lower brightness setting. I personally like to set mine around 50% or so, but you'll have to play around with it to find what you find is most comfortable. Also keep in mind that if you're using a conventional LCD display, the color and picture quality usually does decrease with those as you decrease the brightness. One great feature of the VivoBooks OLED technology that I'm using here is that it maintains 100% color accuracy at all brightness levels. It even has Pantone validation, which means that I can reduce the brightness levels and I don't sacrifice any crisp, clear images, which is something super important to me as a content creator because I do a lot of video editing and artwork on my computer. This OLED screen also produces truly dark black colors, which helps boost contrast, giving you much clearer images. And no matter what screen you're using, if you do have a slightly higher contrast, this will make reading small black letters on a white background a little bit easier, reducing how much you need to focus and helping improve eye strain. Tip number two is that you may experience less eye strain in a well-lit room with good lighting that's either coming from around or behind your computer. And that's because having good lighting helps constrict your pupils. And having small pupils, in fact, increases what's called your depth of field, more or less your range of clear vision or focus. And this will help reduce the amount of time your eye muscles will have to adjust and refocus going from word to word in a sentence or from an image to an image on the screen. So while I know some people like to game or work in a darkly lit room, this in fact could be contributing to eye strain and defocus. Tip number three is to change the font size. If you're having a hard time reading small print, you can increase the font size or decrease it by holding the control or the command button and then hitting the plus or minus keys on the keyboard. Alternatively, you can also hold down the same thing, the command and control button, and scroll the mouse wheel. This usually does the same thing. Now, when it comes to computers, blue light is a question that everybody asks me about. And across the research, the one consistent finding I've seen is that blue light can and does influence our sleep cycles. So I personally do recommend people try and reduce blue light exposure 
in the evening hours before bedtime. Now, with that being said, one of the cool advantages of the VivoBooks OLED screen is that they found a way to reduce the blue light exposure by up to 70%. To show how cool this is, here I have a bandpass filter which will only allow blue light of 436 nanometers to pass through it. And when I hold it in front of a more conventional LED screen here, you can still see the light passing through it. But when the filter is put in front of the new Asus OLED screen, it looks almost completely dark, which means it's not emitting as much blue light at that specific wavelength. And they're able to do this again without compromising color accuracy, which means no more yellow or orange screens, which I personally think is super cool. So now what about eyeglasses? If you're experiencing eye strain and you haven't gone in to have your eyes checked and maybe get a prescription pair of glasses updated, then that might be a great place to start. For a lot of people, just having accurate eyeglasses can help with a lot of eye fatigue. If you are somebody who spends a lot of time in front of a computer screen, then perhaps getting a dedicated pair of computer glasses may help. These are just regular glasses prescriptions that also have some added magnification and or prism built into the lenses to help your eyes focus on where it needs to on the screen and further reduce eye strain. I think computer glasses are especially important for anybody over the age of 40 who spends an excessive amount of time on a computer screen, like for work or something like that. Verifocal or progressive glasses can help in short-term computer use, but for long-term, just you're gonna end up trying to find that sweet spot and that hurts your neck, and it's just not as useful as a dedicated pair of computer lenses. And my final and bonus tip is in fact, move and take frequent breaks. After about 10 minutes, everybody does begin to slouch and your eyes tend to get tired. I mean, nobody goes to the gym, lifts a weight halfway, and then holds it there for an hour. So why do you think that's acceptable for your eyes to do that? Let me know in the comments if you've ever heard of the 20-20-20 rule, meaning to take a 20 second break looking 20 feet away every 20 minutes. That's something that a lot of doctors have recommended, but I'll tell you more recent research and experts are now saying that that's not frequent enough. Instead, they're recommending every 10 to 15 minutes. So pause what you're doing, stretch your legs, get a drink of water, and take frequent breaks. Your eyes will thank you for it. Hey, thanks for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. Also, huge thanks to Asus and AMD again for sponsoring this video. And if you want to learn more about the VivoBook Pro 16X OLED screen that I used in this video, then I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out. To learn more about what the published science says about blue light or reducing eye strain, check out some of our video series over here. Otherwise, I hope you have a fantastic day. Keep an eye on it. We'll see you in the next one.